Hey everyone, today I want to share with you guys my plans for phase 3 when TOGC hits, uh, like what I'm gonna do first, like what gear I'm gonna go for, etc. Basically it's gonna be something similar to what Classic Go did, uh, but still there are slight differences of our approaches. So if you didn't see uh, his video, I'm posting it in the description down below, so make sure to check it out. So here we go. Uh, this is my gear setup I have at the moment uh, in phase 2. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna demonstrate it on my own gear setup, uh, so these exact numbers can't be applied to everyone. Uh, make sure to run through the sims your own gear setup as well. So for the sims, this is the talent build I'm gonna sim it with. This That's my single target, uh, default single target spec I'm using at the moment in phase 2. Uh, Obviously, I'm using Glyph of Insect Swarm, Glyph of Starfire, and Glyph of Starfall. And the settings are pre pod Wild Magic, Potion of Speed, uh, Mid Fight, and the Demonicle value is 500. And the rotation is Moonfire before Lunar, because it's still phase 2, and Insect Swarm Maximize, because it's still phase 2. So let's see this and save it as reference. And now, what I'm gonna do first when phase 3 uh, is live, and uh, what you guys can do as well, is to increase my DPS before even stepping foot inside the TOGC raid. Now, how can we do that? First thing I'm gonna do straight away uh, is to craft the Bejeweled Wizards Bracers, or whatever it's pronounced, uh, that are actually BOE from tailoring, as I'm still using the 225 item level of bracers from 10 men general Wazax, as I wasn't really lucky on bracers from 25 men, unfortunately. And these ones probably won't be cheap the first week, not only because of the epic gems, and those are not a problem for me, because I'm kind of stuck with tightening or to prospect. But someone has to sell both the recipe or recipe, or whatever it's the pronunciation, uh, and the Crusader Orbs from their first TOGC run, so I can imagine it being quite costly, uh, but hey, like, what else do I spend gold on, right? They're also pretty much the best alternative, uh, or second best item, until I can get my hands on the uh, best in salt bracers. Uh, and also I'm saving EP as we are using the EPGP loot system, so like this one is kind of a no-brainer for me. Uh, let's say I'm gonna still use the Phase 2 Rare Gems, and so let's say I'm gonna use the Twilight Opal. So let's send this, and as you can see, they alone increase my DPS roughly around 135. The second thing I'm gonna do is to use the new side real essence currency to buy the missing best in sort items from phase 2. Specifically, I'm still missing the Nebula Band ring. Uh, even though I was running Kuldura 10 men almost every single week. Uh, let's say I'm gonna use Core 10 or whatever. Uh, if you don't know, this new currency is from the new Heroic Plus Dungeons, or the Defense Protocol uh, Beta, as it's the official name, and Nebula Band was 12 side drill essence uh, on PTR the first week. However, uh, the prices of items got updated on the PTR recently, and now it costs 19. So I'm able to get Nebula Band in two days this way, and hopefully it's still gonna be before our first 25 main TOGC guild run. Make sure to check out the vendor if you are missing uh, other pieces as well. Uh, for example, this Pendant of Shallow Grave uh, is just 15 essence and it's really easy to get. Uh, so if I replace my, Nebula, my Kirin Tor uh, ring with Nebula Band, uh, that's another slight DPS increase. And the last thing I'm gonna do before the first TOGC raid uh, is to switch my rare games to epic ones. I've already done that to save time. So let's see this. So that's again another uh, almost 150 DPS increase on top of the 192 DPS that we've already got from the Nebula Band and the new Bracers. So I can do almost 340 more DPS when phase 3 hits before I even step foot inside any TOGC raid. 
So let's save this as the new reference. And now, what are the first few pieces of gear? Uh, I'm gonna try to get the first two weeks. And what do I spend Emblems of Triumph on? I'm gonna aim for two piece tier 9 as soon as possible. Uh, here's the picture somewhere of the emblems uh, needed for the specific pieces. There shouldn't be too much of a problem getting two trophies for it by the time you get the emblems, as there's a lot of them dropping even from, from, from 10 men. So uh, now I will specifically uh, go for the glove piece first. Uh, let's see which one is it. This one. Uh, just because... Uh, just because... Uh, it's only 45 emblems. And I'm still using the 10 man version of tier 8 on gloves because of the PGP loot system and everything. So they are actually, let's see, there should be actually DPS bulls for me, even if I break the 4 piece tier 8 bulls. Yeah, let's see. If you really want to complete the 2 piece tier 9 as soon as possible, uh, the shoulders are the fastest option as they cost less emblems. However, I will aim for the headpiece actually. Uh, instead. Uh, why? Three reasons. Let me see which one is it. This one is not. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, three reasons. This combination gives me the... the. <laughs> you don't know what I'm saying, huh? Uh, this combination gives me the biggest DPS increase. Uh, second one is because I need to make up for the hit I've lost uh, from the gloves, and the shoulder piece does not have any uh, does not have any hit, and gives me the best flexibility with slight overheat cap. Uh, <laughs> uh, with slight overheat cap when replacing uh, future items like, for example, star shard edge or the the cloak. So after I got the tier nine gloves and helm. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna spend the uh, emblems on is the new idol. Uh, idol of Lunar Fury, uh, to be exact, that you can buy in Dalaran for 25 emblems, I think. Yeah, 25 emblems of Triumph. So here you go. Let's sim this with the new idol. And one more thing. Uh, this DPS increase in 2 piece tier 9 is still with using the uh, Insect Swarm Glyph and the odd phase 2 rotation with uh, Moonfire usage before Lunar. So if we switch it to, uh, I mean, if we switch it to Maximize and switch the Glyph to Moonfire instead of uh, Insect Swarm, it should get uh, ahead even more. Yeah, there it is. Another thing that I'm gonna try to do differently, at least at the first few weeks compared to the classic go or majority of the boomies from Druid Discord, is the rotation when we get to the 2 piece tier 9. Uh, yes, it's worth it to go Glyph of Moonfire instead of Insects Form right away when you get the 2 piece, as we just saw. I've mentioned it and explained more in the phase 3 uh, bis list and rotation changes video, so go check that out. I'm linking it in the description, not gonna go deeper in that topic. Uh, however, the Druid Discord and eventually even Wowhead Guide will probably suggest to skip Insect Swarm from your rotation and keep it only as a movement filler. So it's gonna be pretty much Moonfire at max up time and Insect Swarm unused. While this is true when you are in your best in slot gear uh, in phase 3, this is indeed the best rotation to squeeze the most DPS. However, the difference between Moonfire at max and Insect Swarm at uh, Anus and Moonfire at max and Insect Swarm at max is very small, as you can see from the picture I've done in the previous video about rotation changes and best in slot gear. Uh, but however, I'm getting different results according to Sims when we are not in our best in slot gear. Uh, when I'm just switching first few pieces of gear, uh, the first few weeks of phase 3, like we have now, for example. For some reason, I'm getting the best result with Rotation, Moonfire at max, and Insect Source at max. Uh, meaning, you want to keep both of your dots as much as possible, and this is something I'm gonna try to experiment with the first few weeks. 
So let's double check this with the scenes we are doing now. Uh, let's save this as the new reference with the gear we've set up. Uh, with the two-piece gloves and head, the bracers, nebula band and the new idol. That's pretty realistic to get like first two weeks in phase three. Let's see if we can see perhaps more. And this is with the... Oh yeah. Save this as a new reference. And this is with the st settings both dots at maximum uptime. So the Druid Discord is suggesting to not use uh, Insect Swarm at all. So let's see if this is the case. And for some reason it's not. Of course I'm gonna drop out Insect Swarm at max uptime and make it only as a movement filler as soon as I get enough gear that the sim is gonna say that's the better way. But until then, I mean... I'm gonna go with both dots at max uptime, to be honest. For the next weeks after this, let's say week 3 onwards, uh, I'll try to complete the 4 piece tier 9, as that's the... as soon as possible, as that's the... like our biggest DPS boost with uh, more than 430 DPS increase, and that's specifically with chest and shoulders. Uh, other than that, I'll save my EP uh, for the next biggest upgrades. Uh, they're also heavily contested by other casters. Those are the Miserizant uh, weapon or the uh, Reign of the Unliving trinket or actually uh, even the boots, boots of the Morning Widow because I'm still using the 232 item level crafted BOE boots. So these all three give me like 122, even 200 DPS. Those are the three major uh, DPS items. That's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.